what's the mission for today? Well, let's disassemble this Titanic suspension. Titanic as in rusty. Mm. Uh, and prepare it for blasting and powder coating. Oh, speaking of, did you know that after all these years, the Titanic swimming pool is still full of water? Yes. <laughs> I did know that. <laughs> the springs don't need blasting. Springs look new. Yeah, they are. They probably are. The, the main suspension bridge is going to be blasted and powder coated. Mm -hmm. The A arms are going to get just blasted and uh, painted uh, the standard way because uh, the bushings will stay on and cannot go into the oven. The steering rack will be left as is, just a little bit rusted and painted. Okay. Um, and then the engine, we need to separate the engine and the gearbox to see if uh, the rear uh, O-ring on the crankshaft is leaking or the gearbox shaft is leaking because there's some oil and the, the clutch is apparently a bit uh, skippish. Ah. And then, of course, uh, this uh, cover needs to get off and we need to change the cork uh, gasket here on the crankshaft. For a proper for one? A, for a proper one. Ah. And of course, the, yeah, engine needs to be, the engine needs a little paint. I believe this is the proper gasket? Yes. Okay. The engine needs a little bit of paint. Mm -hmm. Uh, a few new, new bolts, a little col color. What color do you have in mind? The only proper color for an engine. Black. Black, of course. As black as your heart. Yes. <laughs> He's just talking to himself. Look how crazy person he is. It worked! <sighs> Praise be the WZ40. It worked. Yep. Woo. The smarter party gives in. Yep. No big deal. Okay. What's that? How do you I don't know what this is. Oh! But first, we need to loosen up those bolts. Oh! Amazing! Amazing. Amaze bolts. I've seen much younger bolts put up way more of a fight. Yep.
part that's going to be most tricky is getting this back in without damaging the paint. Yeah, after this is blasted and powder coated. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. I think a set reassembly will happen on the car with the weight of the car uh, aiding with the assembly. Mm -hmm. So the bridge with the engine goes on first, yep. gets bolted on, and then all of the components get, get bolted on. This is going to be the easiest way. Now that everything's rusty and off the car, it's a little bit, it's, it's a handful, but yeah. when, when everything is uh, restored and clean and rust free, it will go together like a breeze. There she blows. Bearing seems fine. Yeah, it's fine. Braid discs seem in better condition than mine. They're okay. Just trust that this will dissipate as soon as the car is being green. Mm. Wire brushing, uh, two component paint, just like on the MX-5. Sandblasting, uh, protecting with al aluminium tape. This will be removed. The bushings will be protect with aluminium tape. This one gets out of the car, uh, out of the wheel home, and then uh, both of these will, will be uh, primered and painted with two component paint. Not Which powder coated? No, 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 because powder coating would involve getting them in the oven. Which right. Which would basically destroy the melt. The, yeah, 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 gotcha. But, uh, the suspension bridge, however, is going to be powder coated. And that rubber piece you can remove, right? The stopper? Yes. Okay. And now, through the magic of editing... Finally, uh, we still need to figure out how to get this, this out. I have no idea how this works. Mm. I think the issue is, is the way I see it, there's a nut in there that has eight sides instead of six. It's holding it in place. 
and we and we of course broke this. Of course. Other than that, it's ready for blasting and power cooling. Excellent. What about the gearbox? Not today. Next time. Next time. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go